Howdy y'all, this is Proverbs 26 in the ALV for November 26, 2023. As snow in summer, and as rain in harvest, so honor is not seemly for a fool. As the sparrow for wandering, and as the swallow for flying, so is the curse that is causeless does not come. A whip for the horse, a bridle for the ass, and a rod for the back of fools. Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest you also be like him. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own eyes. He cuts off feet, he drinks in damage, who sends a message by the hand of a fool. The legs of the lame hang loose, so is a parable in the mouth of fools. As one who binds a stone in a sling, so is he who gives honor to a fool. <clears throat> As a thorn that goes up and in the hand of a drunkard, so is a parable in the mouth of fools. As an archer who wounds all, so is he who hires a fool and he who hires those who pass by. As a dog that returns to its vomit, so is a fool who repeats his folly. Do you see a man wise in his own eyes? There's more hope for a fool than for him. The sluggard says, there's a lion in the way. A lion is in the streets. The door turns on its hinge, and the sluggard upon his bed. The sluggard buries his hand in the dish. It wearies him to bring it again to his mouth. The sluggard is wiser in his own eyes than seven men who can render a reason. One who takes a dog by the ears is he who passes by, vexing himself with strife, not his own. As a madman who casts firebrands, arrows, and death, so is the man who deceives his neighbor and says, Am I not playing? For lack of wood, the fire goes out, and where there is no whisperer, contention ceases. As coals are to hot embers, and wood to fire, so is a contention span to inflame strife. The words of a whisperer are as dainty morsels, and they go down into the innermost parts. Fervent lips and a wicked heart are an earthen vessel overlaid with silver dross. He who hates dissembles with his lips, but he lays up deceit within him. When he speaks fair, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in his heart. Though hatred covers itself with guile, his wickedness shall be openly shown before the assembly. Who digs a pit shall fall into it, and he who rolls a stone, it shall return upon him. A lying tongue hates those whom it is crushed, and a flattering mouth works ruin. Sorry if the rain's getting loud. I just realized that's it's going up. The frequency's going up. A lot in here about a fool, right? Avoiding the fools, not being a fool, not trusting fools, not as a messenger, not as your representative, not as somebody who's doing work for you. And it specifically says though, hire those who pass by. Our notion of a vagrant is probably too strong a word, but a drifter, right? If you know that. Why? Because they're just going to leave. There's no accountability for their work. There's no accountability for their actions. So why did they leave the last place? I get it. I love to travel. I wanted to move around frequently and do that kind of thing. But it remains about hiring a fool and hiring those who pass by. Hire somebody within your community. Hire somebody accountable, right? Hire somebody who is not a fool or making foolish choices. And I mean, just after this, you got fools repeat their folly. Why are you leaving that town and passing by? Oh, you're going to just do it again in the next place? Or a man wise in his own eyes. There's more hope for a fool than for him. Yeah, well, you know, those people said this, but I'm right. So I just left. And then again, you know, trouble. I've said before, like, enough with the fools. I get it. We get it, right? We don't want to be fools. We don't want to associate with fools. Uh, we do need to be reading the characteristics of fools so we can identify them, but that's kind of like this turning point, right, in Proverbs, where it's, let's go with the positive and model that. Not that these parts aren't valid. 
and I constantly hold on to this as the sparrow for wandering and a swallow for flying, so is a curse that is causeless does not come. In Christ, we have nothing to fear. You know, hexes, curses, gree gree, woo woo, whatever. Whatever. Now, can you open a door, you know, or get yourself in a situation like that? More text, sorry. And specifically about not hanging out with fools and people that like to talk, reveal secrets. Or just like, right, so Thanksgiving just happened and Christmas is upon us and there's like even memes about part of the family leaves so then the rest of the family gather around and talk smack about them. Get rid of the whispers and contentions will cease, right? Where there's lack of wood, the fire goes out. And then as far as gossip, the words of whisper are as dainty morsels and they go down to the innermost parts. You need to stay away from gossipers because they will gossip about you when they run out of things to say to the next person. Specifically though, the thing that bothers me because I'm guilty of it even recently is doing good work providing value and allowing somebody else to claim it as their own or to be an authority to represent you and your belief especially if i mean nobody's going to agree a hundred percent but in general if you have high level ontological disagreements then when they're doing their job in a position of authority to represent you, it's going to be slanted. It's going to be tinged in that way. That's not to say when somebody chooses me to represent them that I'm not doing the same sort of biased thing. However, one might argue with the Christian ethic, having inspired and built lots of Western civilization, that that would be a trustworthy thing for instance if somebody in his position above me as has been the case that is buddhist well if you're looking at reducing suffering then my choices as a christian if i'm doing them correctly being honest should lead to that so therefore you trust me versus me as a christian trusting and i'm just going with the buddhist example here not picking on them their version of less suffering could be, in these cases, diversity, equity, inclusion kind of matters, which I might approach differently, okay? So they're representing you, but biblically, this is a fool, a foolish person, because they're outside of the truth as revealed to us. It's not hate speech. I love my Buddhist brothers and sisters, but... There's more to be had than that worldview. I suppose more on that later. Sorry for the hesitation. Getting a bunch of text messages in the rain before I report to work. I gotta run across town, go to the store, make it home, put the milk and the cold stuff in, and um, then head up and hope that traffic is not so bad that I will be late for work, in which case the entire thing was pointless is what it is. I'm going to work hard instead of being like a sluggard on his bed turning on the hinges. I did do that this morning. Totally honest. I just laid in bed with the wife as long as I could stand it. But it's been a very full week getting up early and then all that traveling driving 900 miles like it's hard to sleep well after that. So stayed up very late last night more than I had business doing and finally got myself to the very actually tired point and got to spend some time in bed. So do the same thing, get some rest, say your prayers, go with God.